The guidelines uh, provide for um, um, much more effective remedies, um, uh, including local grievance mechanisms, but also steps toward judicial remedy that victims can, can draw upon and can use. The worst uh, violations take place in zones of conflict where there is no effective government, um, where um, there is um, uh, no authority controlling uh, territory. Um, that uh, condition is sometimes exploited by, by illicit companies, um, sometimes by criminal networks uh, that extract minerals and sell them on the international market. But even good companies can get into trouble uh, in areas where there is no effective government and where there's fighting going on. There are some things that, uh, that states must do. Uh, they must protect against human rights abuses by all parties, including companies. Uh, and if uh, the local government uh, is incapable of acting because of a conflict situation, uh, then the home country where a company comes from has to step up um, uh, and provide greater oversight. So states have to act. Worst abuses can be committed by small trading companies, uh, companies that buy and sell min minerals or buy and sell oil, and they may only have um, 10 people on their staff, uh, but they, they source from um, criminal networks, or they can, um, uh, contribute uh, to uh, human rights abuses in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. So size by itself is not a predictor. Um, uh, size um, is an important factor. Small and medium-sized enterprises can't be expected to adopt the same systems to manage uh, things, but they need to pay uh, adequate attention to what they, what they do and what their impacts are.